everyone welcome to the channel today i will show you how to export a table or data in google earth engine so let's get started so in our previous lecture we have seen how to export an image in google earth engine so here let us see how to export a table or data in google earth engine so here let us export a two types of uh, so let us see a uh, two types of export one is of a kml export another is our csv csv export so now let us look at that so first let us create a table of data so to make a collection of points that is our table of data so to define to create our table of data we define a variable called cities equals to double a dot feature collections and we are referring double a dot feature so these are our uh, table of data so each of this uh, coordinates refers to this particular cities. So we have San Francisco and Oakland. And uh, so let us uh, show you that. So to generate a table or uh, data for the city, we defined double dot feature, double geometry points. So this is our coordinates, coordinates of this uh, the city. And name of the city is as given San Francisco. Similarly, to define uh, another set of points, another set of points, double E dot feature, double E geometry point, and uh, define other two uh, coordinates for this Oakland city, and similarly for uh, for third one. So here, to create a feature collection, we created. So to create a feature collection, we need to create a features. So the these three are our these three things are our features different cities and this coordinates this refers to it which is a it is our lat and uh, latitude and longitude so this is a latitude and longitude of uh, this city san francisco and similarly for other cities too and have now and our job is now to export this uh, table of data that is our feature data so feature data into a KML file and as well as a CSV file. So to export our feature collection to a KML file, we defined. So to export our uh, features feature collection to our to a KML file, we define export dot table to drive it refers to our Google Drive, and we are specifically mentioning uh, collections. So here we referred that as our collections uh, of our cities. And the description we are defined as a export KML. And the file format is of a KML type. The cities here that refers to this variable that is our feature collection, variable cities, feature collection of this uh, table of values. That is our table of data. So now let us run this code. So go to the option called run. So it will be uh, visible in the uh, task section of uh, Google Earth Engine. So go to this task section. So now you can able to see that the unsubmitted task export KML. So click that run. So the window has been popped up. So this is the dialog, uh, dialog box that is indicating our uh, drive folder and file name that is uh, export KML file format this is of game so let me uh, run this so you can able to see in this section it is uh, actually exporting our KML file so now you can able to view that the export KML has been exported to our uh, drive that is our google drive so the phase is completed So once it is completed, this file will be uh, accessible or it's available in our Google Drive. So the next is uh, we're going to export our feature collection to a CSV file format. So to do that, so to make that, um, so to export to a CSV file format, we defined export dot table to our drive. So to our drive and collection that refers to the cities. So cities here defined our variable cities. That is our feature collection and description it is of a csv first export csv 
and the file format it is a CSV. So now let us run this. Go to the option called Run. So you can able to view, you can able to view that in task section of Google Earth Engine. So the it is available as an export CSV. So go to this option called. So we already have exported our KML to our drive. So now let us export our CSV. Go to this option called Run. Click Run. So now again this uh, windows has been popped up. That is we our task name and our drive file name that is our export csv file format is it is of csv for file format so now click run so now you can able to view that export csv has been now it's working so after it is the task is completed it will show us a, a tick mark like this So next is we're going to display our points. So to display our points, we I have defined map dot add layer cities. It is referring to our feature collection that is our variable cities. That is our three different cities, and uh, we defined a curly bracket indicating a default visualization parameter and output as a cities. The next is map to I have defined map dot center object cities that is referring to our variable that is our variable cities feature collection. So with the zoom level of 11. So now we can able to view in our uh, task section. So the export CSV has been completed. So it has been completed. So the CSV file has been exported. That is will be available in your drive. You can be able to view through this option. So now let me uh, display our. Uh, now let us let me display our table of data. That is a feature collection of these three different cities. What is the option called Run? Click Run. So now you can able to view that we have our layer called cities that is our uh, table of data of three different cities three different cities so you can able to view in our uh, map section in this map section we have our oakland san francisco so and our Dali city so we have our three different cities that is indicator uh, that has been shown here So I will turn off the turn off that. I'll turn on that layer. So you can able to view that. So uh, using this uh, function, we can able to uh, export our table of data. Export our table of data containing our feature uh, features, the different features like San Francisco, Oakland, and Dali City. And you can able to create a many number of uh, things like this. So for this video, I have just created for only three different cities. So it is basically a cities database that has created a point data for three different cities. So and also we have exported the three different uh, data as a CSV, as a KML, and also as a CSV file format to our Google Drive. So in this video, we have created a cities uh, database containing three different cities, and we exported that uh, that feature collection as a KML file, as well as a CSV file format to our Google Drive, and displayed our data as a point data in Google Attention. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, Data Spatial.